Hello, welcome back to Retro Board Gamer. Today we're going to look at uh, painting your minis, getting them ready for tabletop quality. So when you get your minis, they come in molded plastics of gray, white. But the first thing I do when I get my minis is I prime them. Now I use, uh, what is this called? Vallejo surface primer and I'll do it in either white or black. These guys I have done in white. And the biggest thing that priming does is it just helps the paint stick better. Uh, it makes it much easier to paint because the paint stays where you put it. So I always prime. And I do white or black depending on if I'm doing a dark colored mini or a light colored mini. Every once in a while I'll use a green or a gray, but that's pretty rare. Uh, the next step is I do a base color. Uh, these will be base colored in green. And I, this is what the game says they should look like, so I'll try to match that as best I can. Occasionally I'll do an independent paint job, but then people get confused. Uh, I did that with Batman. I painted one of the uh, bad guys in a different color, and every time someone's like, that's not the same guy. So I try not to do that anymore. It just makes it easier. The paint brushes I use are a mixture of uh, Army Painter paint brushes, I've got some Nick Pro paint brushes, and I've got some craft shop cheap paint brushes that I just kind of go with what feels right at the time. Um, but anyways, back to the next step. So we have, we've primed them, then we're gonna base color them. Then we go in and we color some of the bigger details. Uh, then we'll shade it. Then I'll come back and I'll highlight with uh, some of the lighter detail colors. Uh, and then we'll do a uh, varnish on them, which my varnish is also Vallejo, Vallejo Mecca varnish. I do the matte finish, um, but I paint in colors by Citadel. Uh, I might switch over to Vallejo at some point. I've been very impressed with their primers and their matte finishes. I just already had the Citadel paints, so I'm used to painting with them, but I could switch. So already primed, primed them yesterday. They're all dry now. And the next thing I'm gonna do is a green wash on them. Shake my paints up. Put the color down onto my palette. And then I do just a dip into water, just like that. And that's just enough to get it going. If I was painting details, that's the level I'd do. If I'm painting base, I do two dips on some of the details. All right, so now I'm gonna do the rest of these guys. So watch it in fast motion. Dried now. As you can tell, that's only one color. But because of watering it down, the heavier pigmented part of the paint seeps in to the depression. So it, it almost looks like it's shaded already, but that's just the one color that I put on, which is pretty cool. That's why I do it. So the next step is we're gonna put some color on it. We're gonna put, uh, we're gonna do the bandages. Uh, they're in a kind of a light brown, so I'm gonna use Zendiri Dust. The first color I had on there was Lauren Forest. So, because this is a non-base, I do one touch, and I do one dip. And then I kind of mix it all together. And then, I use a different brush, because these are details. And yes, there's a little bit of loss of paint that way, but I have learned over the years, I use way less paint this way. So here we go. I'm gonna put him in my holder. Because my hands have, so you can see on his leg, we got a bandage there. Looks pretty good. We're gonna do this part in a darker brown, but we got another bandage on this leg. So we're gonna put that on. All right, next up is shader. Now I use uh, Citadel's, either non-oil or I'll use a uh, shader that's based on the base color. This one I'm gonna use Nun Oil. Normally, you do this just like the other paint uh, when you're doing the 
adding color where you do the one dip. Um, I've already pre-mixed my non-alden oil. I go through this so much that I have it pre-mixed in the bottle with the right amount of water so that I can just dip right in. And this is super easy to paint. Make sure that your model is dry. You just dip in and just slosh it on. And you can tell it really brings out the details. And if you want it darker, put more there. If you want it lighter, take some out. But Nalm Oil is my favorite for highlighting, but it does get really dark. So if you're doing lighter figures, uh, usually heroes have lighter colors. Uh, then I shade in the shade that matches the base. Um, shades are usually made of ink and water. So they dry fairly fast. Now I wait for him to dry and then I'll come back and I'll highlight some of the colors uh, just to give them a little more depth. And at that point, it'll be done. So I need to put teeth on. If you look at his mouth, he's just got a big red spot there. We're gonna dry brush that. And the way you dry brush is you get a paint that's a dry paint. See where it says Citadel Dry? That means it's really thick. It's almost like a gum. And I'll dip in. And then I go across my pad and I take the paint off it. And you go, well, that doesn't make any sense, but it does. It leaves just a little bit of paint on the fibers of the brush and I just pull across. Really gentle. Those teeth just popped right out. That's pretty much it. After this point, I paint my base black and then I varnish. So, from Retro Braid Gamer, we'll see you next time and remember, 